Estamos en el Sonorama, en la Rambla de Duero, 2011, en el Festival de Música, y estamos con Kare, de Los Campesinos, que nos va a hablar un poco de, de su concierto de esta noche y su experiencia en Sonorama. Hola. Hola. ¿Tienes español? No, sadly no. Just, uh, just enough to get by, just enough to seem polite on stage. Neil from our band has a, has a better grasp of Spanish, but I, every time we come to play in Spain, it seems to be a little bit worse than the previous time, but yeah. If you learn a couple of new words each time, then eventually you'll be fine. Yeah, but I think, I feel like if I learn new Spanish words, I'll just forget old English words that I know. That's, defi that, that yeah. is definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. This morning, yeah, we flew from Liverpool this morning and we came straight to the festival site and we've been fed and we've we've been given the opportunity to wash at least. But so, yeah, we can't ask for much more than that. <laughs> and you're playing tonight at 8 o'clock? We are, yeah, yeah. Are you excited? Very excited. Um, Spain is one of, it's easily one of the nicest places for us to play. I think part of it is, I think we've got a head start because of the band name. Uh, Which is, which is. I'm going to ask you about that. In, just <laughs> well, in, in hindsight, it's the best uh, bit of promotion we could ever have done. It, it didn't cross our minds at the time that we'd ever get the opportunity to play in Spain. But when you started as a band, did you ever think that you would be playing internationally? No, not at all. We, and I think that's been very much to our advantage, and that we we formed a band just for something to do whilst we were at university, and we we had no expectations or hopes to achieve anything. And I think that sort of attitude has really served us well the fact that everything that we've achieved since has been more than we bargained for but um we've been lucky enough to tour in south america so a lot of spanish-speaking country, countries over there and i think the name is definitely a good head start on that so why the name no no g genuinely no reason i think when coming up with a band name is a difficult thing to settle on and i'm just glad that we settled on something that you know, isn't horribly embarrassing and we could have come up with something that we thought was incredibly intellectual and, uh, and well, quite teenage at the time, but we've, we've come off quite lightly. And believe me, we, we would have been very capable of coming up with something embarrassing, but... Do you remember any of the, the discarded name options? Fortunately, I wasn't in the band when the... <laughs> when the they, they decided, the rest of the other guys who formed the band, they... I mean, they'd only been together like a month before I joined, but they'd already settled on a name. And, and that's perfect for me because I bear no responsibility for the name whenever we have a moment where he thinks it's a terrible name. And also, so I can always, you know, I can always criticize them for coming up with it. And it's not my responsibility to. We don't even speak that language. Yeah, exactly. What, what, what were you thinking? <laughs> So have you have you played in the Sonorama Festival before? No, we haven't. We have played in a few uh, Spanish festivals and we've done a few shows. I think we've, we've done like Madrid and Barcelona and uh, Vigo and Bilbao and a few other places. But we've never done Sonorama before. And uh, But whenever we, most recently we played a festival in Vigo only about a month ago and the reception we got was wonderful and it was... It, I, I don't know, the, we always get looked after really well when we're here, when we get fed and there's always nice people looking after us and I think when you play some UK festivals it's really just a conveyor belt of getting the bands in, getting them on the stage and getting rid of them, whereas uh, perhaps it's because we've, we've come from abroad but we're, we're treated like guests rather than, rather than employees you're, or something. You're almost a royalty. It, well, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, maybe not. But <laughs> And you said you have a big weekend coming up here. We do, we, which is a, one, a really big shame because this seems like it's going to be a lot of fun and you know the, the Spanish get a, drunk a lot later than the English do. So, but we have to, we leave our hotel tomorrow at 3.30 a.m. Oh no. To fly to Wait, Belgium. Wait, tomorrow as in, as in tonight or? As in like eight hours time. Okay. So and we're staying like an hour away so it really is sadly going to be a case of we play our gig and then we leave which is a shame because I mean the, these festivals in Spain will always end up being like a massive nightclub and a massive party so but I'm sure we'll be back again soon enough. Is there anybody that you were looking forward to seeing? I, I would have uh, really looked forward to seeing DeLorean but I'm not going to be able to it's, and I think as soon as I sort of 
as soon as you realise that you're not going to be here for any time at all, you try your hardest to resist. Getting it, because there have been occasions where we've had to leave and there's been like some of our favourite bands playing and that's just like, it's so close and you're there for free and you can see them that you're being dragged away. So, But that would have been really nice and there'll be an awesome party band as well. So, um, But no, we're Belgium tomorrow, which, which will be lovely in, in, a, in a very different way, but lovely nonetheless. Well, that is all. Thank you very oh, much lovely. for your time. You're more than welcome. Thank you. <laughs> we really appreciate you Cheers. taking the moment, taking the time to talk to us. And, Thanks for having me. And we look forward to the concert tonight. Cheers. Uh, saludos a la Dos Magazine from Los Campesinos.